Hi you guys, welcome back. So this is going to be a Japanese food tasting box. Let me scoot back. Anywho, a Japanese food tasting box um, comes from Freedom Japanese Market. I've been getting these about mm, maybe a year now or maybe getting close up to a year. But if you don't know about it, it's about, about $20 to $25 a month. You get a bunch of um, Japanese snacks, savory and sweet, and now they're starting to put like the Roman noodles in them. Um, it started last week, uh, last month that I remember. So that's the first time you're getting one. You come with a paper like this inside of it to let you know what type of um, Japanese snacks you're eating. The um, the name of them are in Japanese. I try my best to pronounce them. And at the bottom, they have in English what they taste like. Also, you get um, origami of the month, every month. And this one happens to be, this is also the March box. So I see it says March. I don't know what it is, but um, yeah. Anywho, it has all these snacks in them, which one just fell. So we're just gonna hop right on in, you guys, because you know I love to try my snacks let y'all guys let you know how it tastes. Let's get right into it. Now the first one I picked up is this one. And it's a it's called lifeguard candy and you squeeze um this you squeeze this thick um candy paste into chopsticks or a spoon and lick it off a lollipop. Okay, yeah. That's not for me that's for the kids. They love stuff like that. They had something like that last month. Next thing, this little thing right here. Oh, let me show you what it looks like. Looks like that. It's got Japanese handwriting on it. Next thing will be this thing that looks kind of like a cell phone. And um, this is called a oh, smartphone candies. It's a fruit shake candy in a colorful wrapper uh, resembling a smartphone screen. So let me taste these smartphone candies. Oh, it got one that said Me Too. You know it's supposed to be YouTube. But you know if they use the word YouTube, they just copyrighted stuff, can't use people's stuff. So yeah. They have a little, the little Android stick to taste it. I can barely taste the flavor. And you guys, you already know. Mm. It's okay. I have my cranberry juice on deck. Now, anybody know they've been following me for years, no. I'm sorry. This is my cranberry juice. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. I love my cranberry juice. Now, ladies, my favorite is in the box this month. And they come in all types of flavors. They're like 20 something flavors and they're so good. And they call, and you also, if you just want to taste these instead of going by tasting the um the whole box, um, they call um you may bio. I don't know, but I just it spell it's U M A B U M A I B O. You can go to eBay, like I did like a couple of months ago and order a whole bunch of them. I got like 40 of them in different flavors, a variety of flavors, and you just eat them. But this month's flavor is, um, but let me tell you what, what, it's, what, it, what it's like. It's a puff corn tube coated with flavor powder. Now, um, the orange one is salami, and the yellow one is um, yakitori, which is chicken. So, I never taste the goddamn salami before, but they're really good, but I just hope it's not nasty. So, you would know, my face tell everything before my mouth do. Oh, that's what it looks like. And if you don't know, it has the texture of a cheese puff. With check the Cheeto cheese puff, it has that texture. This one not my favorite, but it's not, also it's not nasty. Mm. 
clearly it's not because I'm still eating it, right? Okay. I'm gonna move along. I ate the whole thing. This one is chicken flavor. I think I had this one before and I didn't care for it at all. I mean, at all. And this how it looks. I think this is the one. I think this is the one. Yep. But I'm still tasting on, on, on the camera for you. I don't care for it. Mmm. Anyway, let's keep going. Lip gloss coming out. It's some kind of candy pen. I'm not gonna open that. I'm gonna give that to my children. Next thing are these. Looks like this. And it's called Rice Crackers Enjoy um, Grilled Beef Flavor Rice Crackers with a um, taste of from the popular anim uh, animated series, Korean, well, that's not here in America, so. And all writing on them are in um, Japanese. They look like this. They're, they're hard and crunchy. The flavor from a scale to one to ten is like a six or a five. This is sparkling soft table um, drink mix. It contains one, I guess when you drop it in there, it does something. Let me see. Yep, drop one tablet of 180 cc's of in the water. Um, and water to create your own tasty drink. This one is um takey whatever. I just have the name in it. It says a tiny bamboo shoot biscuit coated with mocha milk chocolate, a spring um, exclusive. Open the box. Got a bunch of goodies in there. When I say it comes with a bunch of goodies, it comes with a bunch of goodies. It looks like this. It's all right. More of the good candy they have. And of course, I'll be splitting that up with my children. The candies are always most likely good. What in the crap is this? This is um, taco yaki, whatever that other word is. It's a sour, ugh, sour that included um, sauce on a rice cracker with a little taste of Japan. That's what it looks like. biscuit looks like. Oh, it has a little flavor thing in there. Not interested in doing that. Yeah, he got a little game thing my daughter Trini like to get, which you guys know. Y'all saw her do it last time. But this is called a... I'm not even trying to mess the name up saying it. But anyway, because the name is in Japanese. But it is a brand new addition to the um, DIY Niro, Niro, Niro candy line. It's a pineapple and melon flavor. Yep, it's one of those candies that you make stuff with. And it, it's a lot of tore it open, but whatever. It's like another, it's a candy DIY. And I tasted this before. It's really good. But um, I taste it on camera to let you guys know. It's shaped like a fish. And it, it has that smell and that flavor. Well, smell of strawberry, but the flavor is in the taste. The flavor is strawberry. But the texture is more like a kind of like a nutty buddy kind of thing. The texture. 
but it's called a um where's the fish it's called a puka puka tay tai it says backed by popular request a fish shaped wafer filled with strawberry and chocolate and this is what the fish looks like and i'm gonna taste it It's like a, a airy mousse. Tastes like strawberry. It's so good. Mm, mm, mm. Next is like some more little candies for my children. They're gonna have a, gonna have a ball without this candy. And another piece of candy. And I also have these noodles here. And it looks like it's some kind of pork flavor. Cause it's a pig on there. But it says it's a buta min curry roman. It says it's a mini cup of instant roman roman. Simply add boiling water. Do not microwave. But of course, we always put our stuff in the microwave. So what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm going to cook these, come back and taste them on the on camera to let you know what they taste like. So I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So as you can see in one of these little bitty corners right here, you'll see me eating the noodles. They are really, really good. They um kind of threw me off until I remember it was curry. Curry is like a thick powder. Powder that turns any water, water consistency something like thick kind of creamy like not creamy but thicker and you know our roman noodles normally to be like that but um it's the curry flavor it's really really awesome it tastes really really good it scalded my tongue and as you see your girl is still eating it um i wonder i wish there was a way or i can find out where i can order like japanese noodles roman noodles because japanese roman noodles actually taste way better than american noodles Honestly, they really, really do. They have all types of flavors. I mean, we have just like oriental pork, chicken, beef, shrimp, or uh, they used to, and we still do, um, do like teriyaki and stuff like that. I remember that when I was a child. But, um, hmm, hold on. Sorry. I had to have an eat and break. <laughs> but yeah. But um if I can I will put it in the description bar. But I will definitely put the link to um to this Japanese food tasting box if you want to try and taste with your family, your children, whoever or do a video on it if you are actually uh, a YouTuber. You can try it out. And also the um the eBay person I bought my uh puff things from and i mean they are so good you guys i mean they are so good I mean, you want to punch somebody it's so good but i'll leave the link in the description bar so you guys can taste them as well and yeah you guys your girl rocking her crop top today so and them girls sitting up real lovely as you can see yeah so i'm feeling my stuff today i had to bring my old girl out to come play and curl her real decent like all right my lovely ladies i'll see you guys in my next video be sure to thumbs up this video if you want to see more of me tasting these japanese food tasting boxes and if you if you like them so much i will actually um order um the different type of japanese food box because they have other kinds i've been seeing now and i will do those tastings to let you know what they taste like and so on and so forth they have the german kind the asian kind so um if you like these videos just let me know thumbs me up right in the comment section now be sure to go ahead and put that in, you guys, because I think it'd be really nice and fun to try. So, you guys, I'll see you in my next video. Be sure to rate, subscribe, comment, share, and like this video. Follow me on Instagram at Miss Redbone2010. I love you guys and everybody. Guess what, you guys? We at over 40,000. Woo, 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 woo. So, thank you guys for uh, always subscribing and supporting, to my, supporting my channel and everything like that. So, I'll see you guys next time. I love you guys.